Since I do a fair amount of reloading and I like to display what I reload, I've been eyeballing one of these for quite some time. I finally decided to buy one. So you guys get to watch me open it up, see what's inside, and see what makes this thing tick. And then I'm going to compare it to what I do with the other displays that I have and see what we like. This is how I currently display what I reload. Each caliber that I've made a couple rounds of or more, I make a dummy round essentially and I stick it on an oak board with a nail in it. It's easy to get on, easy to get off. I can rearrange them if I want to, add in a new one here and there. And that's it. So this is what I'm comparing it to. This is simple, not real complicated, very cheap. And uh, see how this MTM one compares. So what's in the box is pretty basic, some quickie instructions, the board itself, little plastic clips that slide in and out of little slots, and then there's a white backer board that you can cut out a whole bunch of cartridge names and then stick them with the cartridges you put on display. It's pretty basic. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I've been seeing this thing here and there, but I've never actually seen one put together, never seen a video on one, so uh, we're going to put a couple of these clips in, try out a couple cartridges in there, and see how they hold up. Give it a shake around, see if it's a decent display item, see how easy it is to take these clips in and out and change out cartridges, and see how it compares to what I'm using currently. The long and the short of it is, you take one of those clips, you stick it, uh, I guess you could say the pointy side up, and you stuff it in the slot in the back, and that's really it. thought I'd try one of the larger rounds that I have, and then I'm going to try one of the smaller rounds and see how well it holds it, see how hard it is to lock that clip down on it. This here is 25 ACP, and you see how easy that's coming and going off of that board. That's one of the reasons I like the board, the system that I'm using currently, because I do use these rounds as dummy rounds. And essentially you can use these dummy rounds just like snap caps or anything else. I'll use them to load into mags and check the uh, function of the firearm, seeing how it strips around out of the mag, or checking to see how something chambers one way or the other. So having an unprimed, unpowdered dummy round around is pretty helpful. So they get used quite a bit. Thought I'd put in a uh, crowd pleasing 223556. Figure that's something that's going to be a common display item for folks. Kind of works the same as the rest. It really does seem to grab everything pretty consistently. There's really no difference between these three rounds. How it holds it in and keeps it where it's supposed to be. Now, you see how those tabs are sticking out of the back there? You're supposed to trim them off, which a uh, little little leery of that, because once you trim them, you can't make them longer. Thank you. 
See now, if this was gonna be a permanent display, you'd take those tabs that are sticking out of the back and you'd cut them flush with the back of the display, which, uh, I don't know, got mixed feelings about that. So we're gonna try to remove a couple, see how that goes, see how they come out, see if the clips wear out at all when you move them in and out, or if they snap or break, and you just kind of pinch them from the sides and push them back to the front. The rounds fall over and there you go, you got them out. So as you can see, that means that this display isn't permanent. But if you do trim those uh, wings that stick out of the back, that's it. You're never going to put a larger cartridge in that particular holder than you have in there at the time. So I figured I'd give everybody a brief walkthrough of what I've already got loaded here. These are rounds that I make. This is, anybody that gets into it, you'll realize it's, uh, you kind of start with one round, and the next thing you know, you're reloading everything that you shoot just because it's kind of a, it's an addictive hobby. And I am a bit of a brass rat. Every time I go to a range, I take a coffee can with me, and I'm picking up whatever brass I can find for reloading, and there's a number of rounds that I shoot that kind of just bought guns to shoot all the brass I'd been picking up, so sort of how it works out for a lot of folks so end up with a collection like this after after a while and if anybody sees the difference between the two boards that i got there and what's the difference between the rounds on the one board and the rounds on the other board drop something in the comments i'd like to see if anybody notices so there you go different idea on display and stuff and what an mtm cartridge display board looks like I think it's interesting. I don't know if it's going to work for me personally, but if you guys got an opinion, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this video. If there is some interest, I'll keep making some more of them. Thanks for watching.